Hello guys and welcome back to Collecting History. A very special episode today because we're going to talk about uh, two of my favorite pieces in my collection. I'm really passionate about uh, German armored vehicles from World War II. So uh, I think you can already guess what's uh, in front of me. I'm talking of course about uh, the Tiger One. Uh, I will first give some uh, information about the Tiger One. Tiger One was uh, produced between 1942 and 1944. There were uh, only uh, 1,354 produced, so not that many. It was uh, armed with the 88 millimeter gun based on the Flak 36. The armor on its thickest part is uh, 100 millimeter or 10 centimeters. The armor was uh, really advanced for its time because it was uh, rolled homogeneous armor it was uh, really ahead of the allies in that time the muzzle brake it was actually one of the most important pieces of the Tiger one because it reduced 70% of the recoil it was actually advised for uh, the crew well, when the muzzle brake was damaged that they didn't use uh, the main armament anymore then we will take a closer look at uh, the two pieces from my collection in detail. The first piece I want to talk about is the one of the vision blocks I got from uh, Tiger One. This model was actually also used in the Panzer III and Panzer IV in the cupola. I believe the Tiger One had six of them in the cupola, but uh, I'm not really sure. Um, it also has a a pretty nice stamp it's a really a bit faded but uh, if you can see with the light if you look closely you can still see uh, the marks vaguely it's uh, marked with uh, the Waffenham stamp and with uh, the makers mark of H E G the H E G actually stands for the company who made the vision block and the, the company's name is uh, Sicherheitsglas GmbH out of uh, Kunzendorf. We know that this was a, a vision block from the cupola because uh, it's uh, 15 centimeters wide. It's in really nice condition. Most of the times when you when you find them, they are in like beat up condition but this one's uh, still very clear you can see right through I will show you then one of the most bright uh, possessions of my collection an original uh, late war Tiger 1 track link this one is a uh, late war because of the the grooves here they're actually um, three models of different track links for the Tiger One. The this one, the late model. Then you have uh, the early model and the the transport model. I will put uh, the two pictures on the screen so you can see the difference. The late model actually the dimensions of it are 73 on uh, 19 on 19. This is the same for the the early model. It uh, weighs 23.8 kilograms and the early, the early model weighs uh, 26 kilograms so it's a little heavier. Then uh, the transport model it's uh, a much, much uh, less wider. It's uh, 52 on 19 on 19. This was because of uh, the Normal tracks for combat were too wide for uh, transport by train because the, the tunnels were too narrow to pass with the, the full tracks. If we check a little bit closer in one of the crevices we can still see a mark CKC and that stands for Deutsche Eisenwerke AG Mülheim an der Ruhr. That's the, the maker of this uh, particular track. If you are uh, just like me, really interested in the track links of German armored vehicles, 
I would really recommend this book. It's uh, it contains every German vehicle and the different uh, types of uh, track links, the early models, the late models, just everything. It's uh, it stands in this book. Um, it's the only downside is it's only available in German, so uh, you would have to learn a little German to understand, but. It's a lot of pictures, so you can also uh, see for yourself.